Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. Welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Today's question, uh, Tom and Vicky, my friends, say, uh, you know, hey, can we use Excel uh, for solving basic household finance things? And here's a great use for Excel. Let's say that you have some sort of a, you know, credit card or revolving loan with a department store or something like that, and you get the statement, and here's the balance, uh, 46, 22, 37. Here's your interest rate, 13.24. And the uh, credit card company, you know, they want you to pay a bunch of interest, so they always suggest a minimum payment that really is going to have you paying forever. Let's use Excel's power to figure out just how long you're going to be paying on that. Now, in the past, I've used the PMT function, but today, we're going to use the NPER, N-P-E-R, number of periods function. Now, once I get that opening parentheses there, I can press Control A or hit the FX button, and it's going to walk me right through this. Uh, so the rate is this cell here, B3, divided by 12, because we're talking about monthly periods. The payment is the 92 here, and then the present value, uh, one of these has to be negative, so we're going to do 46.22.37, and you see that we're going to be paying this loan off for the next 73 months, 73 months. So the total that we're going to pay over the life of the loan is 67.76. Uh, that's a, a lot of interest. Let's just do a quick interest calculation here. You know, almost 50% as much of the loan value is now we're going to be paying in interest over the life of the loan. And then, of course, in Excel, it's easy to come over and say, okay, well, you know, what if we double up payments? Instead of making that minimum, what if we can do 184? So let's do equal n pair, the rate divided by 12. The payment is going to be the 92 plus the 92. And then the present value is minus the current balance. Look at that, we can pay this off in 29 months instead of 74 months. So, you know, a little over two years instead of six plus years. Total to pay off 54.42. I'm uh, just saving, uh, you know, a massive amount of interest in this case uh, by simply making a little bit more payment. And you can actually now use this to do some what if analysis. You know, we can say, hey, you know, I, I really can't afford another 92, but I can pay another 20. And you can see that that's uh, still going to cut more than a year off the uh, life of the loan just by making that little bit of an extra payment. Or, you know, if uh, you want to go really big, type 400, and you'll have the whole thing paid off in nine months. So, really cool here using Excel's financial functions, uh, not necessarily for bankers or anything like that, just to solve basic household finance problems. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast with Mr. Excel.